Hello, you wonderful YouTube people. How are you doing? I just came back from Milan yesterday and it was wonderful. And there's a vlog if you want to check it out. It was really nice. And just came back in Geneva to find rain, rain, rain. <laughs> But the good news is that um, I have been tagged to an accent challenge, which I had started, I admit. Uh, so Chef Vegan has uh, tagged me to do the Brazilian accent and cook some Brazilian food. And um, Racy Baby has tagged me to do a Dutch accent because she is mean. Uh, meanwhile, I have tagged them as well, of course. So check out their videos. Um, which are linked here and here and here. Uh, so Chef Vegan is going to be doing a French accent and uh, he's he'll be cooking a croissant and um, Racy Baby will be doing a pizza with an Italian accent. Be sure to check those videos out. And of course because I have no idea how to make either Brazilian or Dutch food, I asked for the help of my two friends Giselle and Julia to come and help me out uh, with the cooking part. So Giselle over here, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, will make uh, the pau de queijo. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Hi Lisa, my name is Giselle and the food is called pau de queijo. Let's make it. And Julia, who's from Holland, she, uh, maybe I mispronounced that name as well, um, will present uh, the sauce hollandaise. Hi Lisa, I am Julia, not Julia. <laughs> Goedemorgen, I will show you how to make an easy vegan hollandaise sauce. You'll need an egg substitute, or if you don't have that, nutritional yeast. Some lemon juice, some Dijon mustard and vegan butter. First, put three tablespoons of coconut butter in the mixer. Then add three tablespoons of the egg substitute or the nutritional yeast. Then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and some lemon juice. Blend a bit, then add a cup of water, and then blend everything together. Vegan Hollandaise. Hola, todo bien? We're going to make the pau de queijo vegano with the four small potatoes that we're going to boil. Then we're going to drain and mash them. Process a half an onion, a garlic clove, a third of a cup of oil, some salt, and two thirds of a cup of water. Then you boil the mixture. Add this to four cups of tapioca starch. Mix it all up and add the potatoes. Bake in 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And you have your pau de queijo. And now my favorite part, the taste test. The hollandaise sauce is nice and creamy and yellow. And sour. Reminds me a lot of the original one. Although I would put a little less lemon, maybe. Although I love lemon. Now the pau de queijo. It's crispy on the outside, but chewy on the inside. Mmm. Nice. Never had this before. It's really good. Imagine if an actual 
Brazilian person made it. Hmm. Now let's see if the both of them will match. Not bad. It's a good snack. But after all, stick to the Greek cuisine. <laughs> okay, I hope you had fun with that accent video. And, um, well, have a nice weekend wherever you are. Bye.